morning guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. Let's look at the afternoon update, uh, new data, new trends. We'll start off with the bullet points. Uh, we've got an AR surge underway in California with very high snow levels, a lot of rain snow mixing in, a lot of rain in just at base areas affecting operations. Um, eventually that level will drop. I'll look at those levels coming up. Um, and then there's another storm system, maybe on the very, very low end, a weak AR surge coming in. 320, 321, somewhere in there to the west coast of California. So we'll look at that. Um, also, I'm going to show you a very interesting story out of Bear Valley in California here in a second on some all-time potential record snow. And we also have a northeast coastal storm underway with some pretty big totals, and there may be one more down the road. So all of that is what I'll be focusing on. Um, let me take you to Bear Valley. So interesting story, Bear Valley Resort is um, south of Lake Tahoe, it's south of Kirkwood, if you've ever been up in that area. Um, it's over a high set of peaks on the other side of Kirkwood. But Bear Valley is one of these gyms, and it's really interesting. I'm trying to keep up with this stuff, but so they're at 616 for the season. It's big for this area. Um, they say that 639 is their all-time record. And that was set back in 82-83, which was a huge year across the West in general. Um, that was just that was one of those milestone years. Well, it's not going to take that much more before they bust out of that all-time record. Um, and they even say it here, which is entirely possible that they break 700 inches. I don't think that's out of the question at all. Um, in fact, Palisades Tahoe is getting close to 700. Kirkwood's getting close to 700. Um, Mammoth obviously is going to get there. Um, they're already surpassed that at the summit. But this is going to be one of those all-time, you know, for most Sierra resorts, this may be a top three winter for most resorts, if not the most snowy for Bear Valley. Really fascinating, um, this pattern, and it's not over, like I was saying. I did write about it this morning on my blog, chrystomer.com. Take a look. Three storm systems through 323. Um, so this is great. Um, forecast uh, rain snow line at Tahoe up to 7,900 feet today. That's why we're seeing the problems with the rain, the rain snow mixing. It'll drop to 6,600 feet tomorrow and probably drop even more on 316. But we're out of the storm system at that point. So then we're just waiting on the next one. There's your setup. It's as, it's as clear as day. We've got the Pineapple Express reaching way behind, beyond Hawaii, Indonesia potentially, with this, this moisture draw. It's deep. Here was the forecast jet from this morning. I'll show you what it looks like this afternoon with the new data right here. Very similar. Um, still a jet streak uh, nailing the Sierra. It's going to be very windy if this happens over the Sierra. Um, but in, in it, what you're looking at here is a trough of low pressure. Uh, with the jet potentially with a collusion of the northern and southern branches. This would represent that potential weak AR surge, but a general storm system with colder air sliding through most of California in the west. So this would pull the snow levels down, which is good. All right, back to this. Let's look at timing. Forecast radar satellite 314 through 319. So, all right, here's the morning of Wednesday. Storm, the leftover AR sliding through the Intermountain West into 316. Really nice Albuquerque low with great snow for southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Here comes the next storm system. It's a southern tracker, and it looks good for southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. And then just off the forecast period, 320, 321, 322 would be that other, the third storm system with just a little bit of atmospheric river contribution. I did a breakout of Alta, Utah. You've got a, a wonderful snowy period ahead. Big snow coming in tonight into tomorrow, over a foot, and another big shot uh, on 321 with that, that uh, storm system that comes through with a little bit of AR moisture. It's a really nice stretch here. Those are my numbers from this morning. Forecast totals. I'll show you what I'm thinking this afternoon. Here's the rest of today through the 16th, potentially another foot across uh, Tahoe and Mammoth. Um, a foot for, and like I was saying, I did the breakout for the Wasatch. Another th looks like a foot down in Bryan Head, and uh, 6 to 12 for the, the Tetons. Uh, Colorado looking pretty good, 5 to 12. Oh, quite a bit more of a Wolf Creek. 
Look at northern New Mexico in awesome shape for two lows. Here's the second period, capturing two different lows. Um, so about two to three feet on the way um, uh, through 323 in the Sierra. So with this, Bear Valley will break the record. Everybody else probably gets very close to, if not right at 700 inches um, or 600. No, excuse me, 700 inches. Um, let me just look it up while I'm thinking about it. I don't want to get this wrong. There's so many numbers. Um, so Palisades Tahoe. Let's see. Yeah, they're at 655 as of right now in Palisades. So, yeah, this this next storm cycle will get them near 700 inches. My goodness. All right. Uh, and Colorado's in great shape for that two to three storm combo. I mean, just in this period, we're looking at one to two feet, if not three feet. In some places over Wolf Creek and look at Taos, Angel Fire, Ski Santa Fe, couple of feet coming. Awesome conditions. One last stop, rest of today through the 23rd. So you've got some snow tonight, tomorrow morning. And then there's another storm system very late in the period, which could drop another foot of snow. All right, guys, well, that'll do it for this update. Lots going on here. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.